And we're back. I'm Angela Stribling, host of Pillow Talk with Angela on WHUR Radio here in the nation's capital. And we're here at the convention center at Mayor Muriel Bauer's Maternal and Infant Health Summit. All right, you know, you've all heard the term, it takes a village. Well, it takes a tribe. You can't do it by yourself if you're going to have a baby. You need people around you who are going to support you. So I have this illustrious panel. In fact, I'm going to let you just introduce yourselves and just briefly tell us what you do, okay? okay? So I am Simona Noche. I am a publicist and event producer. But more importantly, I'm a mom of three, mm. bonus mom of one, and I'm the co-founder of District Motherhood, which is the premier organization for millennial moms of color. I love that, Motherhood. Yes, Motherhood. <laughs> yes. I know. <laughs> <We're playing words. laughs> uh, Karen Weaver, I am mayor of the city of Flint, Michigan, and I too am a mother of three. My name is Keir Gaines. I too am a mother. No, I'm just <laughs> I am a proud father of a beautiful one-year-old baby girl. Mm. Uh, I'm a mental health professional here in the District of Columbia, and I also am the creator of the Care and Them vlog, Care and Them YouTube family vlog. I love it. And um, yeah, very very happy to be here. Got a man on the panel. That's right. <laughs> I'm included. Mm -hmm. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is Joanna Campos. I am breastfeeding peer counselor at the WIC program in Mary Center WIC. Uh, I have a five years old, so I like uh, to share my information uh, to mothers in my club and my breastfeeding experience also. Okay, very good. Now, the whole panel is called Finding Your Mommy Tribe. And I want to start off with, um, you know, to ask a couple of questions. Simona. Yeah. Uh, now, you guys, you work with organizations dedicated to connecting mothers in D.C. From an organizational perspective, what needs in the community do these groups fill? And actually, Simona and Johanna, if you can both answer this question. Hey, well, I'm here on behalf of District Motherhood. So from an organizational perspective, we serve new seasoned and pregnant moms by keeping them in the know and up to date um, on resources, events, and activities, not only in the D.C. area or the DMV area, because we serve DMV area moms, but just in general as they navigate motherhood. But in District Motherhood in particular, we value and tackle mommy's mental health. So we come up with unique events and creative opportunities for moms to engage with one another and build a mom tribe because we know that motherhood can be lonesome at times and it really is community that gets us going. So we're here for that space but we focus on millennial moms of color just as people move to D.C. because they know professional people of color, D.C. is the place to be. Oh, absolutely. We want to create the space where D.C. is the place to be for millennial moms of color Love where it. they can balance who they are as women and who they are as mothers. It's so good. Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly. good. Uh, in Mary Center, we have a little club that is called the Beautiful Beginning Club. Ah. So we have new pregnant moms, moms with experience, breastfeeding moms and babies, and even we have dads who share their breastfeeding experience. Uh, they build confidence. They uh, feel support, uh, a lot of support from us, especially because I had that experience before. I like to share what happened with me before. And then uh, moms feel confident when they have other moms around who had uh, the same, um, like, the same like, situation on breastfeeding. Also, we try to uh, handle all this class in different language. We have Amharic breastfeeding class, English breastfeeding class, Spanish breastfeeding class, and we have the postpartum one. We invite all the moms. We meet every Wednesday from 2 to 3 p.m. Oh, that's so good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anyone else want to chime in on that? Well, no, I want to say I'm really glad to hear what both of you are talking yeah. about because my oldest is 27. And I remember when I was breastfeeding then, there weren't a lot of women that seemed to, you know, want to do that at mm -hmm. that point in time. It's a and whole you different Exactly. Approach, yeah. And so you didn't have people to share those experiences mm -hmm. with. So mm -hmm. I'm just really glad to hear what you all are doing. And before we wrap up this segment, Keir, obviously you're the guy on the panel. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about how important it is for the support group, for your man to support you if you're pregnant and once you have the baby. Sure. Well, first, let me say that um, it's important to note that not all family structures are nuclear. Mm -hmm. Not all family structures look like mine, and the one that I grew up with most certainly did not. 
Um, and I think it gives me a little bit of a unique perspective where I can see it from both viewpoints. Um, when Noemi was pregnant, when my fiance was pregnant, she invited me to the very first OBGYN visit. And I did not want to go. It didn't feel like that was my place at the time. It's not my body, it's not my doctor's appointment. I think a lot of men feel a little bit of confusion around that. But I'm glad that I did uh, because it gave me a much better idea of what she was going through at the time. Um, and I always have a front row seat to motherhood and that was my crash course right there. And even still, we still have very good relationships with those doctors and those nurses. But I say that to say that when a woman has a baby, there are a lot of changes, uh, changes bio uh, biologically, yeah. uh, chemical changes, spiritual changes, but the one that doesn't really get talked about is the change in your friendship dynamics mm. and how they change drastically in a very short period of time. And she's going through that right now where uh, everyone is trying to reevaluate and figure out where they fit in each other's lives. So uh, with that being said, I think the two things you can do, one, I think as a partner of a new mom, uh, I think one thing you can do is be very encouraging. Mm -hmm. Encourage them to find or seek out other mothers who can understand what they're going through and build friendships with That's those good. individuals. Because a mom tribe, a group of women may be a little bit much at one time. But at least that one just good one. It makes so much mm -hmm. more of a difference. And what's your second tip? And the second tip is to be a soundboard. Be encouraging, be reassuring, be empathetic. Uh, you are the first member of her mom tribe yeah. as the partner. I like that. It's so important to note that you don't have to be married or in a relationship with your partner in order to be a very involved father mm. or in order to be a very involved partner. That's you so do good. Not have to. It does take a village or a tribe. It truly Thank does. you all so much. Remember, we're Facebook Live, so your comments, your questions, this is the place to do it. Do it now. We are here for you. We're going to take a quick break. I thank you so much.